people's dreams never die. Well, for this strategy, you might as well, if you're able to get it off, you might as well stop playing this, go to the casino, and win big. Because this is the most luck filled strategy I think I've ever done. And it's kind of, it's weirdly consistent and weirdly isn't at the same time. I'll explain why. I mean. So at the start, you need a lot to go right. Because we, we're going for happy memories for the main person, and that is hard to do. So let's start off with Jan. Jan's, his three, well not three, but two of them have to end up perfectly. His protection card has to land on the top left hand, or whatever hand that doesn't have this pierce resistant, needs to go top. And then the vigil card, which is power nullification, needs to land on the speed person, or the person who you're going solo with. So one of those two has to happen. And then throughout all that, you gotta win enough clashes, which is what I'm doing right now, in order to get this off. And they can't low blow. It's probably the worst part. And the guy who did this strategy, who I consider him insane, but he used an editor for it and decided to emulate it the best I can without it. And it wasn't great. Because I need to get happy memories. And at the start I thought, oh no, I'm not going to do it. But so far I'm able to do it. But at the moment I'm currently having a good run. Everything's targeting where I want it to go. And right now, this turn, I'm going to try and get Penelope to the motion level up. So right now, the speed person's going to go onto the power. Which I'm going to use a wedging sword on. Or I think I'm going to switch it around in a minute. I don't know, maybe I'll do it the other way. But, we gotta snipe down the lower hand first in order to just lower the dice count. And then we can start. And then we can start wheeling down the guy on the top. So that'll take a while. Bleed's going to get the lower hand this turn. I'm going to throw a couple attacks on there to make sure he dies. And now throughout this, I got to win against the top hand as well, which is going to be a point. And vigil hit. I don't think the vigil hit where I want to go, but oh. So now that's the hand on the bomb dead. And I gotta worry about the hand on top. Ooh, it's probably going to kill off a couple people. And for anyone wondering why I'm recording over this, it's because it's not worth it. I ran through about 50 minutes of this, and funny enough, this was the third run? Yeah, this was the third run of it, and this was the closest I've ever gotten. So after all that, I was able to get 67%, well 60 of 40, so 60 is cut off points for happy memories. So I got it. Yay! So now Malku, or in this case Pete, will be able to get deep track off the zero. Now everyone else will target the other hand and get it down, while well, hopefully die in the process. While the speed guy is going to keep getting rid of the strength deep up. So I think in this case, I I think I just sacked the person. Just because I said, oh look, everything's targeting to that guy, I might as well do it. And just use the speed guy to get rid of the power that's pretty much it. Because there's no way I can get rid of the protection this turn. So I decided to stack on uh, Feeble and Bleed. Because that's the only way of doing it. And just try and keep Malakuth alive as long as possible. It does help that she does have a healing page where I can just sack off everyone else, make them with an HP with prioritization, and then give her the HP back, which will be used for the later part. Of the However, the guy I figured out the plan for this is I'm really proud of it. Consistent? No. <laughs> Like, if you need to use an emulator, that emulator cheater, 
just for your abnormality pages, something. So we got emotion level 2, we're going to take Nostalgic Embrace. Mainly for the clashing on his block face. And this, I got lucky as well, because nobody was targeting Malcus. I could go in for one side attack. So now we're going to lose Emma probably this turn. I'm trying to remember how this went. I, I'm recording it a day after I did this. And the one tech I did change was included in all out war into one of the pages. Just because positive emotional points were becoming a problem to get early on. Now let's get rid of the protection. Strength. Which is what I hope I did. It, it, for me personally, this is very weird to be recording without any sound on. It's very weird. <laughs> for you guys, it's going to sound great because I'm going to music over it, but for me, this is just awkward silence and just looking at the dice rolls. And now at this point, my dice rolls don't matter because I'm going to be pretty much neutral. So, presentation time now. Which, maybe I should have held off for one more turn. But I think doing it right here was right. Then the card of the day, Wing Beats, which... Wing Beats is where I messed up on. Like, everything else went pretty well. So this turn I'm going to kill off the other hand, and then we'll go into his block phase. So, with the thorn, just try and make sure one guy lives. Just for emotion coin reasons. By this point, Pete is pretty strong. He can probably outbeat on um, the hand. The seven strength compared to minus two strength. Yes. <laughs> now I'm just trying to get emotion coins, like paying for emotion coins right now and death. So that'll go in. And right now we're just farming up all these points. So we three more from here, so we're close to it. Okay, there's enough there. That's that motion level up for everyone else. And it's going to be super negative. Double super negative. Like, I even went back on the motion level tree. Holy crap. Now, in this phase, Jan will block himself with his fist. So he's going to be very weak, but every other turn he'll go down his map. And for that, I forgot how Snake Slip worked, but that's how you can counter it. Snake Slip will be there because it's a combat start, and you'll get plus two, plus four onto all your dice. And with plus four strength, you usually will win against this. And now I'm just throwing smoke on him. And throughout all this, um, Teddy Bear will start inflicting more stagger damage on him. Spores. I, I don't choose anything good on that because that one doesn't matter. But the Forgotten, Fragile, the B one is the two combo cards. Right now I'm just getting as much smoke as possible while putting as much smoke on Beyond. And this turn I. Sh and this turn I did fine on. But the turn after is when I think I messed up. If I remember correctly. I like to always wing beats will only roll one time for me, so what? But at this point, you take loyalty, and now you're going to just wait for his mana deck to come in. Now where I think I messed up on was I think this turn I need to be one turn. I'm going deep drag, inhale smoke, and all that, but I'm going to take the damage on this one to proc loyalty. So deep drag is going to go in, inhale smoke, then I'm going to take all the damage. I want to put a page on it. But instead of like, instead of um, uh, inhale smoke, what I should have done was inflict the fragile, but it's not going to matter. 
because this is where I got stuck. So at this point, his stagger's low. I didn't do uh, the two cost phase, so I have to go in for this turn. Because I have 10 strength right now. I can't take another attack. So the Forgotten's going to go in, then followed by either Deep Drag or Inhale Smoke. I probably should have done the Piercing Page for even more damage. Because Yon is injured to one. And then Wayne beats. But here's what happens. All the counter dice going to disappear. And he held on by a bit for his stack. And I only rolled once. And that's where I have to cut it. Because I was so annoyed by it. That should have been killed me too. But oh well. Um, if it rolled five times, if the top rolled five times, I think I would have been able to kill him. So six rolls plus this one more, that'll be seven. That would have been enough because the two hits was 50 and 70 damage. That would have been you know, right there. But if that happened, I would have been screaming at the top of my lungs saying, let's go. But I got pretty lucky overall, like 8 out of 10 luck right there. But that's the closest I can get. If you had like an editor or something, then this energy would be a lot easier. Since you're enjoying this, consider subscribing. We'll allow you to stay up to date with new informative content. If you already did, you rock!